Faranad, we always talk about competency, but I've been thinking, what's the real difference between competency, experience, and qualifications? Good question. Let me break it down. Experience is about time served, how many years someone spent doing the job. Qualifications are about what they studied or passed, like NIBOSH or IWCF. But competency means they can actually do the task safely and correctly under pressure, in the field, not just on paper. So someone can be experienced, and qualified, but still not competent. Exactly. I've seen it too many times. Like the driller who had 8 years of experience, but caused a stuck pipe incident. What happened? He ignored early signs of differential sticking, didn't act on drag increases, and missed the mud logger's warning. He had years of experience, but really, he had one year of knowledge repeated 8 times. That's dangerous. So how do we verify competency? We assess people in real conditions, drills, simulations, inspections, emergencies. Competency must be observed, documented, and reviewed continuously. What about safety roles? We had an HSE engineer with a NEBOSH certificate who couldn't even leave during an emergency. That's another example. Certificate, yes, but during incident investigation, he couldn't gather facts or describe the sequence of events. He froze during emergency drills, he failed during third-party rig inspections, didn't understand the inspection procedure, couldn't challenge or clarify failure points with the contractor. So qualification didn't equal competency? Exactly, because competency is proven by action, not by a certificate. What about mechanical or technical mistakes? Oh, I'll give you one more, a tool pusher who didn't know the difference between drill pipe grease and drill collar compound. Seriously? Yes, he told the driller to use drill pipe grease on drill collars during bar makeup. That damaged the threads, delayed the job, and created a well integrity risk. No one had ever assessed his knowledge of bar assembly standards. Any other technical mistakes you've seen? Yes, the dangerous one, and safety engineer and a senior tool pusher didn't know it's prohibited to connect a 2 inch hammer union fig 602 with a 2 inch fig 1502. But they fit, don't they? Yes, they can physically be connected, but that's a mismatched union, it will fail under pressure, even below its rated capacity. It's a catastrophic hazard, and yet they didn't know. So the biggest risk is assuming someone is competent, just because they have time or paper. That's the point. We don't verify experience, we verify competency. Every role should be checked for real performance, not assumed readiness. So to wrap it up in one line. Competency is not enough, it must be verified. Experience can mislead. Certificates are not guarantees. Only proven ability keeps people safe on the rig.